Why so unnerved, brother? It's not like you. Half the soldiers of the Shire are hunting us. You must have noticed. Is that why you haven't come home? You're playing hide and fetch with the Mercian soldiers. Your brother's a busy man, Eivor. Weighed down by pressing duties. Haven't you some murderous errands of your own, Basim? Why are you here at all? My path crossed with Sigurds long ago. We work together now, toward a single purpose. Brother, we should be forging alliances. Send this man back to his warren before he leads you astray. Eivor, gods above, I'm grateful you've joined us. We have made strides towards an alliance, in fact. A local thane called Gidritz has pledged an oath to me. I've heard of him. The alewife also mentioned a Lady Edwin who commands the soldiers. Why not ally with her? Lady Edwin's husband was the Shire's elderman, until Gudrun's army ended his life. Now she's taking up her husband's fight, with a promise of aid from King Alfred of Wessex. Edwin vows revenge on the Danes who stole her husband and her livelihood. From what we know, Alfred is a fearsome king. If Edwin can win his full support, this Shire is lost to Wessex. So to fight her, you've pledged your sword to a minor thane who likely commands a gang of farmers and fishermen. Have faith, Eivor. A few hundred Saxons armed with hayforks and billhooks can be terrified. Gods. All men and women, noble or peasant, have within them the seeds of something greater. This is true. Sometimes greater than the average mind can fathom. Well, Edwin has Giedrich in shackles now. All your plotting has turned to ash. Not if we act soon. She dragged her prisoners to the Longhouse. With you here, we can mount a surprise strike. If Gidrich is our best chance for an alliance, let's see it done. Sigurd. Has Basim talked you into something of little reward? Eivor, have you lost hope in my Warcraft? I heed Basim's wisdom, but he follows my lead, always. He has the look of one who trusts none but himself. Basim is secretive by nature, but he is wise and forthright. And he has opened my eyes to a magnificent truth. He has promised me a reward so unusual, so incredible, it will shatter your mind to shards. Brother, our bond has the iron heft of a war axe. Do not let Basim and his prophecies of good fortune sway you from our simple goal. Never. Our goal is fixed. We shall soon be the lords of Mercia, then all of England. But Basim has a deep insight. He's read wisdom in the lines of my face and heard the litany of my forefathers and, well, there will be time enough for my saga later. Give me a hand with this. Sigurd, kill this sweaty fishwife. Stay your blades. This traitor Giedrich will face trial, as will all the treasonous thanes of this shire. You're the traitor, Edwin, calling on Alfred of Wessex, begging for his army. Clap your mead hole, Giedrich, lapdog of the Danes. You'll sell us out to Wessex! And that poxy-ass bastard, Alfred! We won't have it! You're not the elderman here, Lady Edwin. Turn around and walk away, and we'll leave you be. You heathenish, fork-tongued Dane! Foul-smelling heap, I shit on you all! Lady! Choose your next words with care, for you see before you the future master of all England! Sigurd, of the Hungry Raven Clan. Lay down your arms. Free my friend here, and kiss my lordly feet. You will not get a second chance. Sigurd, are you cracked? And you can kiss my rosy red ass, Wayface. I've done with this offal. I leave them to you. Flay them alive and tan their flesh for saddles. We have the advantage! Give it! What have they done to you? 
What kind of mess did you get yourself into? Long time, eh? I can still fight these bastards! I was desperate to fight. You should have freed me. Giedrich, this is Eivor, my stone-armed sibling. Well met. That was your plan, Sigurd. To charm the lady with your vague hope of kingship. Prophecy, Eivor. Not hope. No time to squabble. Edwin's taken most of the Shire's thanes. She has her way. They'll be dead by supper. Tanned your wounds, Giedrich. We'll free your friends. And what of the holy woman, Fulke? You promised us a meeting with her. I did, aye. But it's a fair mystery why you'd want to talk Where with... Where is she? Thane Holt will know. Fulke lives on his lands. But he'll be dead with the rest if you don't stop the trial. Tell us where and we'll go now. Their lives depend on the speed of your tongue. Southwest of here, halfway to Oxenaforda. At the Leech Vila garrison. Bath him. Eivor, to horse. Off again, Eivor. You and I, with blades drawn and hearts ablaze. Who is this Fulke that Basim spoke of? An ally, Eivor. A most important ally. A holy woman who trades in prophecies and secret knowledge. That is not the sort of alliance we're looking for, Sigurd. No, it's even better. You cannot imagine what discoveries await. You're speaking strangely, brother. Because I'm alive, Eivor. My heart's alight with the fuel of battle fire. Like old times, eh? Yes, Sigurd. Like old times. Remember our hunts beyond the northern way, Ulfa? <laughs> There's the trial. Best not to draw attention here. about to execute the prisoners. won't hide you. Edred sent me to find you. Let's go, now. Down with Edwin for the Shire! Talk safely over there. We fought with our Weasley Ultimate for years. Now his widow wants to lop off our heads.
Bless you all. Thanks to you, I live to pay Lady Edwin back in blood. I am Thane Holt. Does Giedrich live? He is safe in Buckingham. Good Thane. We are at your side in this fight, to keep this land in the hands of those who love Mercia, be they Saxon or Dane. God in heaven knows I'd sooner see a Dane married to my daughter than sell a man of Wessex one of my pigs. If Giedrich is behind you, then I am too. We're told you know of a holy woman, Fulke. Where is she now? Can we not fixate on this cipher, Fulke? Edwin is our focus. Fulke holds a secret that may turn the tide of this fight. Without her, I cannot achieve my full purpose here. The madwoman Fulke. You see, brother, your mysterious Fulke has a mind in disarray. Mad or no, I want to speak with her. Understand this. Fulke is a heretic, a sower of poisoned knowledge, and an enemy of the Church. She claims to have seen or spoken with God himself. And for this, Lady Edwin had her imprisoned. I know not where. At a monastery, I suppose. We should make inquiries. Sigurd, do we not owe Gidrich some word of what has happened here? You can speak with him in my stead, but we must hurry. Fulke's life may be in danger. We risk losing all the gains we've made here for the sake of this woman. Trust me, Eivor. Fulke is of great importance. You'll soon understand. I hope I will. We have a camp to the east at Linforta, an old harbor on the Great Ouse. Meet us there. The Thanes that died here were honorable and just. By my faith, I'll raise a fear of able men and take revenge on Edwin. Bring this news to Giedrich, and tell him we'll be ready when he calls. Every man will be needed. She's well supplied, that's for certain. Well done capturing these, lad. Oil jars, spring old arrows, fodder and the like. Take what's useful and burn the rest. Idrich. Eivor, do the Thanes live? In spite of our efforts, some were killed. Damn good men, all of them. I swear I'll gut Edwin to honor those we lost. And you, and your brother, are you still with me? I like your bluntness, Gidrich. My axe is yours. My brother's too. Edwin's plopped her haunches down in her castle now. She has men and supplies coming. Curse her eyes. Where is your brother and the odd fellow? They continue their search for the woman Fulke. He seems to think she will help us chase Edwin to an early grave. But I do not understand how. You do what you must, Eivor. I'll ready what men I've got for the coming fight. I'll move towards Kinnabella Castle and bring up the feared for an assault. Edwin's fortress is strong and sure. Is there anything I can do to weaken her grip on the Shire? Or make her anxious? Ah, there's a notion. You could chip away at her flag bearers if you see them, and defend my feared if any are in strife. We stole some of her supplies here. If you find any other stores like this, destroy them. That I can do. When you're ready for war, you'll find me at a camp near Kinnabella Castle. what we're after or do we dance around the earth? from what i've learned about fulke she's not shy about sharing her esoterica if we ask the one and here's eivor ah uh, you timed things well the holy woman fulke is close by imprisoned at saint albany's monastery just around the bend this is our moment eivor after this everything changes I might be pleased for you, if I knew who this woman was, and why we needed her. I have explained enough. Now is the time for action. You've done nothing of the sort. Nothing but give me your blind word. I wish to speak to her. Me. Your Jarl. That alone is reason enough. Why? 
so she might cast a spell and turn Eatman into an eel. Fouquet is not the only advantage we seek here, Aver. There will be treasures in St. Albanes. More than we can count. You can steal all the silver and gold you want. But if there are no more farmers in the field to hire, it's useless metal. Men from all across Mercia will heed the call to fight a woman pledged to Wessex. Aver, there was a time when you would follow me without question. Because we trusted one another. Because you knew I would never lead you into folly. Never wager our lives before I knew the cost. Is there something that holds you back from embracing me as you once did? As your brother? Your family? Sigurd, you know I would never betray you. Y your trust in me. I'll fight with you. But there must be limits to this chase. Gidrich is counting on us. Of course he is. And soon we will deliver. Come. St. Albanese will not disappoint. It is famous for its treasures. We'll see about that. We're done. Let's get back to the ship. Like Holy Judas, I thank you, beloved Jesus, for the wisdom. Who dares enter this sanctuary? This stony cave reeks of piss and salty tears. How dare you? We've come for the woman Fulke. She need not bedevil you any longer. Oh, the mad heretic! Ah, the self-begotten spirit has sent an angel to deliver me. Open the door. Her heresies must be punished. Not by Danes or Mahometans, but by true Christians. Friar, our hands are bloody with the gore of your guardians. Is your guard so starved of martyrs that you wish to die as well? You make a fine point. Let me pray on this. The Lord bids me to welcome all strangers. Here, friend, take the key, and depart with your strange friend. Praise thee, Lord of the Treasury of Light, for this chance of deliverance. Are you sent by the angels of Sacklus, or the self-begotten one above? That I cannot answer. You are the woman called Fulke. I am Fulke in this realm, a humble seeker of the self-begotten one's true nature. And you are a collector of artifacts? The instruments of the children of Sacklas the Fool. Yes, I am. I have many such curiosities. And you possess an object? A polished stone with unusual markings? Now, you're a curious one. A cowl and robes hiding tawny skin, and that devilish blade. Why do we linger here? Soldiers will be coming. There are stables beyond the monastery where we can speak in peace. Lead the way. Come. How long were you imprisoned? Some weeks, perhaps a month. For your so-called heresies. Heresies, yes. I have been blessed to discover many profane objects in my lifetime. Objects which attest to the works of the Demiurge, the false god worshipped by these robed imbeciles. Across Germania and Francia, I found these relics and carvings. And here in England, too. Lady Edwin claims they are blasphemous, but her mind is clouded. The true worth of these objects is immense. May we see these objects? If you wish to know the truth of our origins, I will show you today. I would in Enough of these mysteries, Sigurd. Fulke is a curator of objects of great worth. One of which may reveal my true nature. True nature? You said this was about victory. About defeating Edwin. Do you know that I am descended from the ancient gods is a victory? It would give me dominion over this land. Descended of the gods. Brother, what by Odin's eye are you saying? Fulke, we have heard that you possess a profane stone with strange markings and the image of a tree. That I do. 
A monolith I call the Saga Stone, for it came to this land with the Dane Ragnar Lothbrok. Do you have it? It is the sun and moon of all my sacred objects. While you waste precious hours dreaming of your true nature, our hope for swift victory is fading. Perhaps I should leave you three alone to hammer through your differences? We are unified. We only wish to see the stone, to read the runes inscribed upon it. No one on Earth can read those runes. The languages are known and probably long dead. There is no risk in letting us look. No risk at all. Praise thee. Oh, self-begotten one, for sending these three to deliver me from my punishment. No whispering god led me here, Fulke. I brought myself. You came because I called you, Eivor. They spoke through me. Brother, you have my head spinning. And you fascinate me more with each passing moment. The Saga Stone is hidden away in the care of my acolyte. Are you ready to go see it? The sooner we see this slab of rock, the better. Let's go. Approach the stone with an open mind, Ava. You may find it more interesting than you expect. What is it about this stone that captivates you, Fulke? The Saga Stone comes from an ancient race of beings, a generation of lesser gods, as do all the artifacts I collect for my church. You prayed to the Christ Jesus in your cell. Is your church not the Church of Rome, like these Saxons? These Saxons believe in Christ the Redeemer, but I know his true purpose. Christ the Educator, the Keeper of Secret Knowledge. Is this why Edwin loathes you? For preaching such an idea. Yes. Christians like her, like like Alfred, they believe Christ's purpose on earth was to wash us free. The Roman Church has been deluded by the lies of Sacrus, the Algarth, the demiurge of many names, a lesser god. Sacrus and his kind were wise in their time, but they lost sight of the true God, the self-begotten one, Lord of the Treasury of Light. This is why Edwin had me punished and imprisoned. What she calls heresy is, in fact, the true nature of the universe. Yours is a strange saga, Fulke. And I have not yet reached its end. Be on your guard. Someone is watching us. Take care, everyone. The villagers aren't happy we're here. Edwin's eyes and ears, no doubt. This is the place up ahead. What is this tower? A ruin from England's Roman past. My acolyte found it abandoned and derelict. He took refuge here after his bishop expelled him for teaching the same truths that got me imprisoned. He was a priest. He was, and he is. The bishops of England are simply too craven and deluded to understand the secret wisdom we possess. May you live as one with the true God, in the treasury of light. Your friend paid the price for his loyalty. I imagine he was guarding the stone. Edwin's men did this. They killed Brother Paul and took my stone. You! Always questioning, second-guessing my wishes! You slowed us down, and I missed my chance! It's the stone, Sigurd. You're chasing shadows like a madman howling at the moon. What matters is victory against Edwin and her allies. This was my victory. To know my true self, my destiny, my... Hold, both of you. You hear that? Soldiers, Edwin's here. How dare you Danes befoul my lands? Hold our favor, first we talk. Lady Edwin! 
A stone was taken from this tower, inscribed with runes, and the image of a tree. Do you know it? Yes. One of this heretic's blasphemous baubles. Is that why you've come? We are here to trade that stone for an assurance of peace. What are you saying? We gave Gatred a word. For that stone, we will leave your lands and not return. Oh, for this, you must bring me Giedrich's head. The stone is within our grasp. We made a promise, brother. Brother. We have a deal, then. We accept. Done. We do not! Avon! <laughs> no! Cut them down! <laughs> Leave none alive! Avon, are you mad? We had our chance. We will speak of this, Avon. I will not forget. <laughs> Aver, you mock minded fool. That was our chance to recover the stone without letting of blood. Is that now your stance, in spite of promises made? I am your Jarl, and I have sight and wisdom well beyond what you know. A coward's answer. Remember your place, Eivor, or nothing good will come of all this. Ah! Uh, stay out of this! Enough! If it wasn't clear why Sigurd is in command, it is now. Your temper runs too hot, Wolf Kissed. You want to settle things with Basim, you call a home gang. Else you follow me. You listen to me, you do as I ask. Edwin will flee to her castle. You want your stone? It will be there. Giedrich's pathetic army will never breach the walls. We could have first taken the stone, then laid siege. That was always our plan, Eivor. I had no intention of betraying Giedrich. It was your plan all along. Yet you saw fit to keep me guessing through your fits of madness. You are not always to be trusted. Your passions overcome you. I know that. My father knew that. Your father knew it. You move with the wrath of Odin. But you do not have his wisdom. That will lead you astray, Eivor. Come, friend. We have a battle to prepare for. This quarrel with your brother is something to behold. Has it always been so heated? All my life we've moved as one. As family. As kin. I've always known his mind. And he mine. Until this day. Time makes idiots of us all. You thought well today, Fulke. Would you fight beside me now? To wrest control of the Shire from Edwin? I will. Gidrit asked me to cripple her line of support. Would you know where she gets her rations and supplies? East of Oxenforda, south of the Lichvila. There's a place called Eaton Barn where eager merchants sell to soldiers. Meet me there. I'll come soon. Sigurd, brother, you're lost in a sea storm of your own making. Edwin's defenses have been weakened, but I could do more before joining Fulke. Dear man. There's Fulke. For that is well. It's for the good of your Shire. You've lost your senses. What's the noise about? She's trying to rob me. I warn you, soldiers are coming to escort me any minute. This merchant is taking supplies to the castle. Oil for boiling, arrows, shields, rations. 
I offered to buy them, but he refuses. I don't sell on a future promise of profit. Edwin's a valuable customer. Then I'll make you a new offer. How about a story? I'll spin you a tale in exchange for your wares. That's an odd bargain, Dane, but I'll bite. Sing me one of your sagas. The wild winds wandered. The seas spit salt. The night fell into slumber. Wise Odin rose and bade farewell. He pulled on boots of leather. Bit of a slow start. Pick it up! Long before, before the beginning, before you and I and the others, wise Odin looked with his one wane eye and stared and blinked and thundered. Uh, this Odin fella, he's one of your gods, innit? The moon burns red, the sea foams gold. Wise Odin utters the words. Right, this is not what I wanted. Stop it, will ya? The snake writhes, Loki yawls, poison drips from the mouth. Enough, enough! Is this some sort of Nordic curse? Run, go! How does it end? They all die. He said soldiers are coming. We can use these oil jars to surprise them. Fewer reinforcements for Edwin. I see visions of burning men, the screams of soldiers aflame. If we place the oil 